What's up, Neon Hitch fans? You guys have been asking all week. Today is the day. Part one of our interview with Neon is at popologynow.com. We discuss everything from the yard sale tour, the single, Eleutheromaniac, the Indiegogo project. Nothing was off limits. After this brief intro, stay tuned to listen to part one of the audio of our interview. And stay tuned next week because we'll have more for you. Hey, Neon, how's it going? Hello, it's going great. Great. Before we start, I just want to thank you for taking the opportunity to sit and chat with me for a little bit. I really appreciate it, and I just want to say thank you, really. Yeah, thank you. So, I just want to ask you a few uh, general questions first. Um, it's been a pretty big year for you so far, and a lot of things are happening right now. You've got Yard Sale, you've yeah. got your first headlining tour, you have the Indiegogo project. How are you feeling these days? Yeah. I feel good. I feel very free um, and excited. And uh, it's a lot to take in, really. So I've been doing a lot of, like, taking a step back and looking at everything and evaluating because it's, it's quite crazy how everything is going. It's, it's, it's um, really, it's incredible. Yeah, there's a lot going on at the same time, and, you know, doing it on my own, which is like, wow, you know, it's a lot of work. It's very, very but admirable, I have said. Um, it's rewarding, it's rewarding. It is, yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Um, I've got to say that your single Yard Sale, it's literally one of my favorite pop songs of the year. I can't, I haven't oh, been stopping thanks. listening to it since August. Um what really got yeah. me was the addition of the accordion in the breakdown. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. So who gave whose idea was that? Um, well, I'm into the whole gypsy sound, you know, my music is gypsy music, so mm -hmm. it's me. I'm I'm the idea person that directs it. And yeah. Um, yeah, it's just me and Kinect and one love and one love is like such an incredible producer, you know, I don't even have to say anything and he just like you mean like this? And he just like killed the game, he's great. I know, it's brilliant. I thought it was so original. Yeah. Um, oh, awesome, yeah. Yard Sale, it deals a lot with your uh, major label battles. Um, Warner Boulevard right. and Jailhouse also flirt with that. Were you nervous on taking right. on such a sensitive subject in your songwriting these days? I'm not really nervous to write about anything. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I treat my song as like my journal. So. Yeah, of course. Um... <laughs> I know that freedom is a huge theme in your music these days. After all you've been through, how do you define freedom? Um, freedom is not conforming and not having to stand in line and not being afraid to stand for what you believe in. And, you know, stopping small roses now and then. People can get lost in, in the, 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 the fight and, you know too much drive and competition and mm -hmm. you don't just like stop now and then to kind of appreciate where you are and what's going on around you and I think you can kind of get a little bit lost that's great that's great um another thing that I've noticed in a lot of your songs is the number 301 you also have a necklace why does this number have so much meaning to you it really just like started coming to me it was really weird it was like First of all, I, I had, um, I was like living in hotels for like the whole phase when, it, when the number came up and mm -hmm. every room was turning out to be 301, I was like, this is weird, and then, oh, wow. you know, the fellow I was seeing, he was in room 301, mm -hmm. so I was like, oh, I put it in my video, it's written in uh, Midnight Sun, and then it's like everywhere, and then like all the people closest to me in my life, they keep experiencing the number like on a daily basis, and it's like a very random number. Mm -hmm. Every show of mine for free forever. So that's quite a good perk for like 
my top three on one club. Yeah, I agree. Um, I agree. It was really cool. Yeah, yeah, no, I love that whole uh, entry into the show thing. When I was, uh, like, years ago, when I used to go to shows all the time, uh, it obviously it costs so much money just for kids. And I think that's such, a, like, a dope perk because uh, I love right. live music personally. I can't get enough of, like, going to shows and going to concerts. So I'm sure that the fans really right. appreciate getting to see you yeah, on that intimate it's, level. Yeah, I think it's cool. Um, uh, yeah, so that's my number. <laughs> Sweet. Um... I want to talk a little bit more about yard sale just because I do love it so much. Um, <laughs> the reason why I think that it's become such a favorite of mine and probably your fans as well is that it obviously talks about your personal struggles with your career, but it also has this very universal message. Do you agree? Yes, absolutely. Oh, you know, anybody who's trying to like kind of move on and get rid of the old emotional baggage they don't want to be holding, what's the best way to get rid of that? have a yard sale, so <laughs> that's the universal meaning, you see signs everywhere, yard sale, everyone's trying to have a bloody yard sale, <laughs> you know, <laughs> right, it's like Love it. Um, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. The video, it's full of bright colors, the pool scene really caught my eye with all like the, like the glitter dust color bombs. Um, oh, I love that, it was so cool, yeah. Yeah, no, very cool. Um, that was all your vision, or did you collaborate with the uh, director on that? Yeah, so it's me and Charlie Dwick. I mean, he's amazing. I just basically told him the key things I want to of, like, definitely want to airstream trailers or hooked up with Airstream. Mm -hmm. They supplied the caravans, so thank you to them. Um, we had uh, our friends who own this app, Cyberdust. They got involved, which was really awesome. Uh, we got work with Ben and Jerry's on it. You know, I had to get a bunch of people who wanted to just get involved. Um, and then I was like, you know, that Indian powder stuff, I don't know what it's called, but I've seen it when I was in India, we need that, and he made it happen, like, he just, he just gets the artist's vision so well, so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a joint effort, he's amazing. Sweet. Um, I noticed that there was a little bit of choreography in the video, too, um, can we expect yeah. more from that from you in the future with your videos? So Why keep I'm it up. <laughs> yeah, 